Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any placement of Leo. This is going to be your reading for September 1st through the 15th, 2022. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, we're building to the full moon in Pisces, which will be on September 10th, the 9th, 10th, depending on where you live. For those of you that don't know, I am a clairvoyant, psychic reader, and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It doesn't matter where you live. I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. Uh, the link below, all my um, information is on the website, and there's also a 15% discount off your very first session with me. All right, Leo, let's get you an overall energy. All right, you've got the koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. I love this message for you, Leo, because it really asks you to let go of what you think is the best plan for you and to trust that spirit most likely has something even better than you could have imagined in line for you. But there has to be a bit of trust and there has to be some surrender for that to come through, for that plan to unfold. You've got to be open to receive it and to let it be different than maybe what you were planning for or thinking how things would go. Um, I'm also just noticing kind of the third eye is highlighted a little bit here in this koala. So um, what is your inner vision? What is your dream life? What is it that you want to see um, that would be in the highest alignment for you? And then let it be that and something better, right? Whatever the universe can fit in there instead. Okay, let's see what else we've got for you. Okay, that was quick. Second row is your specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person. What do we need to know about them? Okay, and third row is any clarifying messages. Okay, Leo, Leo, I love it. We are starting off with lots of water energy here with the temperance and the nine of cups. Temperance, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles. There is definitely some healing and some balancing happening within you at an emotional level. So something is being just um, balanced out, like the heaviness is being released. And I see you really getting back to a place of just feeling really happy, really good. Um, because you're feeling so good, you're in a more clear space to look at the pros and cons of situations or decisions that you're wanting to make in your life. And reminder, when you're weighing out the pros and the cons, keep in mind that spirit has a plan for you. So there may be something different than you are looking at here, Leo, or that you are juggling between. And to just give yourself permission to be open or to be surprised by the universe in some way. Um, but the temperance card here is really bringing in such um, an energy of harmony. Um, balance within you with the masculine and feminine energy. I'm seeing just um, balance in body, mind, and spirit for you. And that's a really beautiful, solid place for you to be. I love it. So you could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. I'm also seeing Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo out here. Okay, next up, those of you dealing with a specific person, we've got the Empress, <laughs> Empress the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. And I love that both of these energies are facing the Ace of Cups. Your specific person, Leo, I'm seeing them as in a space of being very, very much in the nurturing, loving energy, as well as taking care of the home, taking care of the body, the health, the nutrition. And your specific person, I'm seeing their energy as just very pure, whole, and complete. So they're in a really healthy place as well. And you are in the process of getting to a really healthy place also. Ace of Cups is giving that... Um, newness of love so if if you don't have a specific person then this is saying there is a brand new person coming in for you that has all the qualities that you've been seeking they're um, compassionate and nurturing but they're grounded they're you know responsible with their money and their body and their home and all of those things are really important to you leo 
So um, I'm seeing really positive energy between you and your specific person, Leo. There is like a fountain of happiness, love, and joy here, okay? Um, for some of you, a pregnancy may be in store or the talk of pregnancy, the talk of starting a family. Um, I'm seeing that really strongly because the home environment is also coming through here. So if that is you, that is very exciting. Okay, um, more earth energy and more water energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer coming through there. All right, final messages for you, Leo. We've got the King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is really interesting because you're showing yourself here as the King of Pentacles, Leo. So grounded, solid, stable, really focused on business. You're just showing yourself as like you have your stuff together. That is giving you an opportunity to make decisions here, okay? So you had decisions in the first row and you have decisions in the third row as well. But you're also releasing places that you have kept yourself stuck in the past, okay? Because of the past, you know, you have have a little bit of self-protection and a little bit of a wall up here, which is guarding you and protecting you. And I'm seeing this, Leo, as like you are breaking down that wall, you are moving past it, you're getting stronger uh, in who you are and what you want. And I think that's just really beautiful that you're doing the work. So this nine of wands is showing up because it's highlighting things from the past that you haven't necessarily faced and dealt with. And remember, spirit has a plan. So even those difficult situations, there was a reason you had to go through that, okay? But moving here to two wands, it's like you're getting rid of these. You're getting rid of this wall and it's opening up grander opportunities and choices for you. Uh, choices are always a good thing. And again, you are showing yourself as just really grounded, really solid. And I love that the king and the queen have both shown up here. So a solid power couple is either uh, already started or is in the making. And I love, 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 love when I see that. Okay. A lot of fire energy in this third row, so it could be another Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries that you're dealing with. And then I mentioned earlier a lot of Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and strong water, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right, let me see if there's any other message. got the freedom card all right letting go letting go of what has held you back or what has been painful moving into that just happiness that joy the wishes fulfilled here so the freedom from restraint the freedom from pressure that you have to have all the answers you don't spirit has a plan for you surrender let spirit surprise you and impress you and that in and of itself is a very free feeling lots of freedom there for you leo all right let's get you a spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up the reading all righty you've got the owl magic Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Ooh, that one almost gave me goosebumps, Leo, because yes, you are rising up. You are, you know, aligning for a better life you are letting go of the past so you are happier and more free so i love this this is your spirit animal um protecting you through september 15th all right leo i think that's all that's coming through take what resonates leave what doesn't it is a general reading you can always watch your moon sign your rising um, any other placement of leo really Thank you for your likes and subscribes. They really do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. Um, I have been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over uh, four years now. 
Um, the link below to my website, all the information is there for you and you will also see a 15% discount off your very first session with me. So I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And other than that, Leo, I'm wishing you a beautiful start to September. I will see you back here for the second half of September readings. Take care.